Well, the president's sweeping financial reform plan could force GE to spin off part or all of GE Capital, and it may not be alone. Several analysts and investors say a number of companies with finance arms may be forced to restructure. Our Greg Miles reports. GE has largely escaped the kind of federal supervision faced by U.S. banks, even though GE Capital is the sixth largest U.S. financial firm. It's also gotten major U.S. aid, issuing tens of billions of dollars in debt guaranteed by Uncle Sam. They've been able to carry things on the balance sheet you know, in a much different fashion than they otherwise would if they were a banking organization. But analysts say that could change if all or part of the Obama proposals are passed. To prevent future financial meltdowns, the administration is proposing that all financial firms be regulated whose failure could pose a threat to financial stability, and most importantly for GE, the proposal prohibits companies from being involved in both commerce and finance at the same time. Analyst Nick Heyman says this gives GE no choice but to spin off GE Capital in the next few years. But first, he says GE would have to take tens of billions of dollars in write downs. Then we bring in outside capital, and then in turn, that will mean that GE's stake probably falls below 50%. So this becomes an equity interest in GE Capital as opposed to an operating business. And then within a certain time frame, they will agree to exit the entire you know, uh, GE Capital. Even if GE Capital isn't completely sold, Fund manager Sorrentino says that new proposals strictly regulating consumer credit could force GE to sell several businesses, including consumer mortgage, several health care finance products, and GE Money, which offers credit card and other services. It may just be a lot easier and, in the end, less expensive from a, a regulatory and reporting standpoint to simply exit those businesses. GE told me it supports the administration's goals, but stressed it did not create the financial crisis and that separating GE Capital from the company is completely unnecessary. Greg Miles, Bloomberg News, New York.